and some of my strange hem hand washing challenges. Um, I will share another one with you today, but part of what I wanted to bring to you today from, yes, the United in Faith bathroom, is a reminder about hand washing. And I want to remind you, this is your PSA from Pastor Carla, um, washing your hands is very important. Washing your hands for 20 seconds or more is what is recommended by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. You don't need special antibacterial soap, suds, and the length of time are the most important. Washing your hands carefully, though, and for long enough, so rubbing the tops, bottoms, backs, front, side, uh, thumbs, fingers, all of that, um, is actually better than hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer, sometimes you can miss, or if you use hand sanitizer too much, it actually can dry out your hands so much that it sometimes doesn't work so well. Um, so washing your hands carefully and for long enough is much better than hand sanitizer, um, unless, of course, you don't have access to a sink and soap. Hand sanitizer is a good backup, but not the best first choice. When I arrive at church... Um, whether I'm coming here to record service on Sunday or to get a few things done in the office, I wash my hands. And then when I go home, I also wash my hands. Same thing when I go to the grocery store. If I go to the grocery store, I wash my hands when I come back. Um, it's my way of keeping uh, cross-contamination from happening. If you're wearing gloves, you want to make sure you're only wearing gloves to one location. Because if you wear gloves to the grocery store, and then the gas station, and then your house, and then somebody else's house, um, and then the school, and then the um, pharmacy, you have now cross-contaminated all of those locations with the same germs. Um, the way gloves help keep germs off nurses and doctors and people that use them on a regular basis is that they use one pair, they go into the room, they throw the pair away when they're going into the next room and get a new pair. Um, that's because you don't want cross-contamination. So that's what gloves are all about, which is part of why most of the time CDC says washing our hands is going to do good enough for all of us. Um, some food service businesses, I have a child that's now working in food service, and they are asking their employees to wash their hands every 15 minutes or every 30 minutes. And ultimately, that's to possibly rid your hands of uh, molecules from the virus, if that's what you've gotten on your hands. It's a way of making sure that you're not spreading those germs to somebody else, that you're not um, rubbing your face or... Um, eating something that then you pick up with your hands, any of those kind of things. Um, so it's a good way of making sure. Now, you may not have to wash your hands every 15 or 30 minutes at home, um, but it is something to remind yourself of that there are reasons for washing your hands more often. And yes, I know that means your hands get pretty icky and they get pretty dry. Um, unfortunately, it's not good for our skin, but it is good for our health. So I hope that when you are able to come to United in Faith, that you are able to take a moment to wash your hands when you come in. Hand sanitizer, again, is good if you don't have time or you can't do it. Um, but washing your hands is even better. Um, and it helps us to be able to not share those germs, whatever germs those are that we've brought with us, to not share those germs together when we are gathered. May God be with you as you continue to wash your hands and look forward for a few more hymn hand-washing challenges.